Hey guys, in this Lens Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a blind ranking lens like this for Snapchat. I have created a script file which you can use and download for free, which makes it very simple to create a lens like this for Snapchat. And of course, I will also guide you through on how to set up the scene and also on how to set up the script file. So yeah, let's start. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to mention my Patreon account, where you can find a lot of Effect House and Lens Studio projects, which you can just download and use it as a starting point for your own projects. Thanks to all my Patreons who already support this channel. And if you also want to become a Patreon, just go to the description of this video and yeah, follow the link. Thank you and let's continue with this tutorial. Hey again, so let's create this blind ranking lens here in Lens Studio. To create this effect, we need a JavaScript file, which I have already programmed for you. And you can download this JavaScript file with the link in the description. So please go down to the description and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox page and here just click on download. In the downloaded folder, you will find this blindranking.js file and you will also find a graphics folder, which contains some graphics, which you can use to follow along this tutorial. But of course, you can also create your own graphics to customize this effect. So for example, here we have the 10 placeholders for our slots on the left hand side. And of course, we also have our options, which rotates above our head, which we can set to our slots. So the first thing is that we will import our blindranking.js file to our Land Studio project. For this, just drag and drop it from your folder into the assets browser. Then we do the same with our graphics. So I go to my options, select all 10 of them, and then just drag and drop it also into the assets browser. And of course, also the same with the placeholder image. After we have done this, we can start creating our filter here. We will start with setting up our scene in our scene hierarchy panel. For this, we go to the left hand side and here we can click on the plus. I will create a scene object for the first object. This will be more or less a container or folder for all our slots. So the next step is that we create an image object for our slot. So create an image object and yeah, make sure it is inside this scene object. I will also rename this to slots. And this first image will be my slot one. Now you can see this slot is pretty big here in our preview to change this, select it, go to the inspector panel, here activate this chain and then set the scale to, let's try three. It has to be a size that we can fit all 10 of our slots underneath. But of course you can arrange your sl slots however you want on the screen. But yeah, I will go with the classic layout. Then I will change the Y position of this object and I will set it to, let's try minus 10, no, positive 10. <laughs> And I think it's a little bit too big, so let's try a scale of 2.5. Yeah, this looks good. And also we have to change the X coordinate. So I will set this to minus five. Yes, this looks good. Maybe a little bit more up. So now it is at 12. As we have created this image, there was also automatically created a material for it. So you can see slot one has material image two. And now I will change this image to material. I will not change it. I will just rename it to slot one. So I know now this material is for this slot because now we have to duplicate this slot one object. For this, just right click on it and um, select duplicate and it automatically creates this slot two, which is overlaid to the slot one. So we have to change the Y position. So select slot two and then change the Y position to 10 is a little bit more nine. Yes, nine is a good, so three 
so 12 minus 3 so let's keep this in mind to arrange also the others and now you can see that this slot 2 has also the material slot 1 and this is a very common mistake because when we don't change the material this slot will have the same image as every other slot so we also have to duplicate our slot 1 material so search it in your asset browser and then also right click on it and duplicate and it will be also named slot 2. Now go to back to your slot 2 object and change the material also to slot 2. And now just repeat this step 10 times until you have a row of 10 images here. So yeah, let's start. So now I have created all of my 10 slots but they are not fit the screen. So to change this, we don't have to change every object here. We just can change our scene object, which contains all of our slot images. So just go to the slot scene object and here we can just change the scale of this. So let's say 0 0.9, so it's much smaller, or let's say even to 0 0.8. Then change the Y position a little bit more upwards and also the X position. And now yeah, we can just change all of them at once. Now the next step is that I also duplicate all my materials and assign the right material to each slot. So let's do this. Now I have 10 materials and now I go to my slot 3 because slot 2 also already has the right material. So slot 3 gets slot the slot 3 material, slot 4, slot 4 material, and so on. So now we have set up all of our slots and now there is one important part missing and this is the rotation above the head. To create this, we also go to our scene hierarchy, click on the plus and here we search for a head binding object. Then we select our head binding object, go to the plus again and also create a image object. Now this image object is follow along our head. To set it to the right anchor point of our face, we select the head binding object, go to the right hand side to the inspector and here set the attachment point type from head center to forehead. Now it's tracked by our forehead. Now I also want to change the scale of this image so I activate the chain in the inspector and then set the scale to let's try 10. Looks good. A little bit more upward so let's say y change it to 5. A little bit too high. 3. Yes this looks good. Now we can start with the more interesting part with the programming part but of course i've already said to you that i have already created this javascript file which you can use for free in your effects so go to your asset panel to your asset browser and search for the blind ranking js file and now just drag and drop this js file into the scene hierarchy of your project and now when it is in your scene hierarchy, click on it and then on the right hand side you can see that there are settings. So this is where we set up our yeah, blind ranking effect. The first thing we have to set up is our selector image. This is the image above our head. So we go to choose image and here we select the camera object, go to the head binding and select this image object. So now it is gun above our head. Then we go to our slot image values and click here on add images. Those are those slot scene objects we have created in our scene. So select all 10 of them and also hit OK. The next step is that we set our shuffle textures. Those are the images which will rotate above our head. So click on add value, go to the assets and here select object 1 to 10. And after you have done this, you can see already your, op your options shuffling through above our heads. But now when we try to click on the slots, the filter is not working because we have to set an interaction to our slots. So we go to the left hand side again to our scene 
hierarchy, open our slots and select slot one. You can also see that the code is giving us an error because we have to set our interaction component. So select the slot, the first one, go to the inspector and then here click on add component and now search for interaction. After you have done this, reset the script file. So go to the script file and then just here change the interval or duration. So it restarts the filter. And now we can see when we click on slot one, we can set our slot. And now, of course, we have to do this of for slot one to slot 10, but you can just select all of them, go to the inspector and here click on add component and add the interaction component. And now it should be assigned to all of your slot objects. Now again, just reset the script. So it is shuffling through and now we can yeah, set our scene objects. Everything is working fine now, but yeah, you can see the placeholder image are not set now. For this also go to your slots and then just change the image texture for those slots. So slot one becomes, so slot one gets the placeholder one, slot two gets the placeholder two. So yeah, three gets three and so on. Now we have set all our 10 placeholder images and also a little hint from my side when it comes to arranging the object on the screen, when it, when it comes to position and scaling, when you change here the preview to a built-in preview video, you can see now that the slots are much smaller and in the middle of the screen. Yeah, you have to set the size to this preview window, so not to this where you see yourself because yeah, this is how it will show up in Snapchat. And now we can just change the size of those slots with the scene object. This is where a scene object comes in very handy. So I have to change the scale to let's say 1.5 and or 1.8, 1.6, things should work. So position up to four and the X to minus two. So yeah, I don't know why those are two different views, but yeah, this is the one you should work on because this is how it will be displayed in your Snapchat app. This was all the magic about how to create a blind ranking lens here in Lens Studio. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give this video a thumbs up and if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.